I didn't see you there. Oh yeah, how's it going? <laughs> good. How are you? I'm excellent. I'm excellent. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, so I'm Mitchell Greco. I'm the artistic associate at Stages. And um, who are you? Who are you? I'm Rachel Logue. I'm an actor at Stages. What are you uh, currently working on? Sort of, kind of. Uh, currently was working on Sensitive Guys. Still am. Mm -hmm. um, still, you know, thinking about the character and all that fun stuff. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, just uh, hanging out till we get the chance to do it for people. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, when, so where were y'all in the process whenever y'all were, we were shut down? <clears throat> we were very close to opening um we were shut down on the 15th i believe mm -hmm. it was our final re uh, rehearsal and uh we were going into tech the next day and so we uh, <laughs> we um did a run through a full so we've been done a couple of run throughs and we were about to start teching and gonna i think have our first audience on like the 20th or 21st or something like yeah. that so we were very close yeah yeah um how was how were rehearsals going so far oh my gosh um probably one of the best rehearsal processes i've ever been a part of mm -hmm. um and i've been a part of a lot uh, <laughs> it was uh <laughs> it was um, absolutely amazing i i like we instantly as a cast and creative team with Leslie Swackhammer at the helm made that special room so lovely and caring and we instantly bonded and we instantly um, opened up and we knew we could have each other's backs and um, yeah, it was like a really, really special, open, honest, raw, um, collaborative, experimental never before done <laughs> um, out of this world amazing uh 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 process uh, truly 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 it was so 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 special uh, to the point where you know it stinks that we can't be performing right now but mm -hmm. to have that process alone you know they they say it's all about the process i mean just to have that process alone was a gift, is a gift, will always be hugely special. And the women that we got to work with, and Peter Tan, who was the assistant director, it was just everyone, everyone put their heart and soul into this piece. And man, it was special. It is special. It is special because we, we're going to see it. We're going to see it come, okay. I think, June, right? I think June yeah. is the anticipated return for Sensitive Guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's hope. Let's hope. Um, yeah. So, what have you been doing, keeping yourself busy during these um, dark couple weeks? Well, besides dance parties in my room alone. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, thank you because I haven't put makeup on or like real clothes on <laughs> in like a good ten days. So, I uh, thanks for that. Hey, no I problem. I'm happy to help. How you know, I, I even shaved my legs for the first time, even oh. though you won't see them, but I just felt the need to share because it had been quite <laughs> some time as well. <laughs> um, but uh, I've been playing a lot of guitar mm -hmm. and piano and bonding with my cat, George, who I was trying to get to come in here with me, but he refused. Um, I okay. think that I didn't give him 24-hour notice photo and video calls. Yep, so yep, yep. You know, he threw the book at me, and I understand. That's hey, fine. He's a professional. You know, that's, that's right. okay. That's okay. Sometimes all you have is the book. Um, <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I've, uh, you know, hanging out with him. And, oh, I've been helping um, start a garden because this what? is the thing. Yeah, I know. I my bohemian ways are giving way quickly to domesticated life. So, <laughs> someone save me. Um, but no, it's cool. I uh, you know, I've been helping my mom and dad start a garden. Um, you know, we're like joking, we're calling them victory gardens like they did back in the nice. 
World War II times, mm-hmm. and so we planted um, chives and basil and kale and all kinds of things, parsley, Amazing. tomatoes. Um, so pretty soon, you know, when we are able to gather, I'll be able to make homemade salsa and like, you know. Just in time, just in time. Just, just in time, yeah, exactly. Um, so. You know, for those, uh, th- those of our um, audience members who have been with us for a long time, when would they have first seen you on stage at stages? Oh boy. Um, well, for those of you, um, let's take a trip down memory lane. Shall we? Shall yes, we? Yes, let's shout. I'm, I've got my TAM or my. my... <laughs> it's called a TAM. I didn't know that. Well, I think it's a beret, but also there's a Tam O'Shantern version of this, but I, I think it's a beret. You're throwing around such terms. Oh my God. I, you know, <laughs> costume history teachers would be so proud of me or like <laughs> upset. Anyway, um, we're going down memory lane and the year is 2009 mm-hmm. and it was like my second professional show ever, which was Grey Gardens, the musical. Mm. Um, directed by none other than Ken McLaughlin, who um, I still credit to this very day for discovering me. <laughs> and um, <laughs> thank you, Ken. Um, and uh, yeah, he uh, we he came up to Sam on auditions. He was looking for a young little Edie, and the rest is history. As I say, I actually graduated, uh, walked across the stage, got my diploma drove down from Huntsville and did opening night of Grey Gardens. Oh, so, wow. yeah. That you were was... incredible in that. And that show was beautiful too. It was so Thank great. you. Thanks. Yeah, I went blonde for that, which yeah. was exciting. They dyed my hair blonde. <laughs> and then I stayed blonde for like two years after. <laughs> so. He got yeah. a blonde. And then um, that after that, it was The Marvelous Wonderettes. Yes. And after many that... sequels. Right, tw- that was, so Grey Gardens was 09, Marvel's Wonderettes was 2010. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're we're fastly approaching the 10 year anniversary oh of the original Marvelous Wonderettes oh uh, and all of those iterations. I also did Yankee Tavern. Yes, um, that's right. Yeah, not to forget Yankee Tavern. Uh-huh. And oh, and then a few years later, I did Dollhouse. Mm-hmm. Um, Rebecca Gilman's adaptation of Dollhouse. Also and, wonderful. And uh, more Wonderettes. And now I'm back with Sensitive, guys. So I'm very, very, very happy. I walked in that new building being like, where am I? Isn't like, it crazy? Oh. It is so, so gorgeous. Like, mm-hmm. it's such a beautiful, like, I have such deep pride to work in that building, not just because... I I get to, you know, I'm living my dream, mm-hmm. but also because of knowing that place for over 10 years, yeah, seeing the people who worked there then still work there now and all the, the memories and everything that was put into that old place was leading up to this new, beautiful, sparkling chapter in Stages' uh, future. And so it's just really gratifying to see that kind of, next step taken so boldly and so beautifully and so well done so i'm just thrilled to be there and thrilled for you guys and happy to be a part oh rachel so happy to have you here i can't wait to see (laughs) you in sensitive guys yeah at stages at the gordy anticipating to return in june uh so what what are you looking forward to uh besides the return of sensitive guys um oh gosh um well i am looking forward to oh that's a great question because you know gotta keep it the, light gotta keep it positive this is true this yeah. is true it's very hard um but we are keeping it positive i'm looking forward to outside of completing this run mm-hmm. um i'm looking forward to how we adapt post this situation and i think it's gonna be amazing Mm -hmm. um and in a more general like global sense i think this has changed our perceptive perceptives our perceptions and our perspectives actually (laughs) um (laughs) perceptives um tm rachel logue um, (laughs) 11 15 a.m uh so uh, 
that in a in like sort of a, a global sense uh just on how, you know the kindness and compassion that it's forced all of us to find um well rich that's all i have thank you for joining me today on this gorgeous day you're so welcome I, it was my pleasure literally the highlight of my my week uh <laughs> <laughs> this is how where are we're you at holding up? yeah well thanks rich i love you, you. yeah love you too thank you bye, bye.